Okay, ladies, so this wig is by The Wig, and that is the name of the brand. And this is the Oprah wig that I'm going to be doing today, and it is available at samsbeauty.com. So as you can see, this one here is truly blonde, and I got kind of like the same color. It did say a B2730. However, there's no dark roots, so again, I went ahead and made my own dark roots in this unit because I really didn't want to have blonde roots at all. So there are two combs, a curved part, a comb, and an adjustable strap in the nape area. Now this is one full wig, and I'm really not too keen on the color. I want it more or less like an ombre-ish look. But you know what? I'm going to work this wig to the best of my ability. So the first things first, I'm going to go ahead and take out some of my frontal hairs just to give that natural look. And I'm going to be using my concealer, which is by Beauty Treats. Really inexpensive concealer along with my Topic Keratin Hair Filler Fibers, which helps my edges look a lot thicker. And because this wig is kind of not styled properly, I really didn't like the shape that it was in. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of the hair off of the unit. I'm just going to go ahead and fluff it out and just continue to trim away at this unit. Now the hair is really bouncy. This is some really pretty hair. It's more or less a 100% human hair blend wig. So it's not human hair of course. It's blended with synthetic hair. It's really good fiber hair so it gives the illusion of human hair. You can put heat to this unit if you choose to and of course you can style it as you want cut it up as you want some people like it long some people like it shorter but I'm just gonna go ahead and style it and get as much as I can out of this wig now Oprah Winfrey she really does like big curly hair and she wears it so well and I'm thinking that if I would have gotten a darker color it would have been a little bit more suitable it's hard for me to find blondes that really don't wash me out because of my complexion so I can't wear just any type of blonde but this one to me is more or less like a reddish color blonde. Like I said, it's the color B2730, which I really don't see any 27 in it. It more or less looks like a 30 to me. Okay, ladies, so here it is. I styled it the best that I could. I think it has a lot to do with this color. This is a color mixture of B2730. And the wig company is called The Wig. And the name of the wig is called Oprah. So of course it's like an Oprah Winfrey style because you know she loves big curly hair. So do I. However, this B2730 is not a mixture at all. I don't see the blend. So the B stands for blend and the 2730, it just seems like it's all one color to me unless they matched it all together and this is the outcome, which probably appears on camera a little orange and probably really big right here, but it's a lot of hair. Now, first of all, let's just get into this. The wig did not come with a dark root. It's all one solid color. I really didn't want one solid color because I wanted it to look as natural as possible. Big curly hair, you can always pull the curls out and make it look frizzy and natural. So I wanted to at least do the part like that. Now, the part is a great part. It's a curved part, so it's a really great lace front. There's two combs and an adjustable strap. But I really need these companies to make sure that these roots are dark. I don't really think like a lot of people like to go outside with all their roots just one solid color, especially if it's not a natural color. I did use a little one, a bit of my favorite Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. I did spray that around the perimeter of where I wanted it to be darker at. And once I did that, I let it dry just a tiny bit and then I applied a matte um, dark brown foundation. Um, eyeshadow along with an eyeshadow brush just a little bit and dapped it around just to give it a shadow effect and on top of that I used a little bit of my motives mascara just a little bit and used a toothbrush and blended the hair in now, this is available at samsbeauty.com this is 100% Brazilian human hair blend so with that being said it's not 100% human hair it's a blend of synthetic and like human hair so I will tell you this the hair is very pretty very bouncy very very full but I'm not really too happy with this particular color. Maybe I should have got it in a darker color. Oprah is available at samsbeauty.com along with many other wigs. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever heard of this company called The Wig and it's a lace front, but their quality is really, really good. I do think that the comb should be a little bit positioned more towards the ear tabs, but it does have a snug fit and I like the curls and the bounciness of it. It is a very, very full wig. So if you're looking for something affordable that's very full, then I suggest Oprah. Um, and 
there's many different colors on the website as well so yes yeah, so on that note ladies and gents divas and divos i will post all samsbeauties.com's website information for you girls below and as always make sure you rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you girls in my next video